The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. Is the best. I'm such a bad singer. I like Spanish Jeff. No porn after nine. Don't tell your friends if you had fun. <laughs> I still have laser guns for sale. Well, I don't know. Susan's son has one of these, and they work just fine. <laughs> Whenever I see you, nobody believes you. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, July 22nd. I uh, just left the gym in uh, Leduc, and then now I'm heading to Red Deer. I'm gonna go have lunch with the lovely Miss Olivia Plain. I'm really excited to get to see her again. And then we got a pretty quiet week for comedy, but busy week for adventure. So we're going to stay in Canmore tonight. And then tomorrow we booked three nights in Banff at the National Park there. We wanna go check out Lake Louise. Friday, I'm gonna drive to Salmon Arm. And then Saturday, I'm in Scotch Creek doing a comedy show. And then uh, Sunday, probably head to Kamloops. All right, thank you guys, and uh, buckle up. <laughs> we are in Red Deer, and I'm with the lovely Miss Olivia Plain. And she made me a lovely little home-cooked lunch. And now I'm gonna steal her mother's Wi-Fi to upload this week's video, because I'm a hobo. Just came out of atmosphere. I went and bought myself some bear spray because I've been doing so much camping now. I should probably have this. And it sounds like you just spray this on yourself before you head into the woods and then the bears stay completely off you. And Finley, don't worry, I'll make sure I give you some too. We'll protect you from the big bad bears. Oh yes we will, good boy. Well, we just stocked up on our groceries for the week. Look at that, we got pizzas, and ice cream, and a whole bunch of chicken, and meat, and we even bought ourselves steak, which we haven't had in a while. And we've got a bacon, and eggs, and yeah, tons of stuff. And we're really excited, and we're gonna eat it all. Uh, but first, we're gonna go stay just outside of Canmore. It's, uh, I don't know, some hotel in casino. So we might go play, I'm gonna see if they have, uh, what are, what's dice there? Yeah, craps. If they have craps, I'm definitely playing craps. But if not, I'll just probably hang out in their parking lot playing video games. Good morning, it's Tuesday, July 22nd. This is where Finn Dog and I stayed last night. It's at, uh, I don't know, some casino and resort that allows RV parking that's near Canmore. It's pretty nice. And then uh, today, we're gonna head into Canmore. I gotta go get a mobile internet hub and go to the gym and then we're going and getting our camping spot in Banff after two o'clock. Then me and Finn are gonna be in Banff for three days. Hey Finn, come here. What do you think? Oh yeah. Ten hot soldier. Touch. Good boy. Get it. All right. after 125 kilometers driven and two trips back to the Bell store, we now have our MiFi wireless internet working. So we got internet in the RV now so we can upload our videos. So they should be on time from here on out. Every Monday, stay focused. Hey Finn, ready to go to Banff? Good boy.
All right, everybody, we made it to Banff and we got to our campsite. And this is where we're staying until Friday. Got a little picnic table. And look at this view. Into Quipoy. Pretty cool. Tonight we switched it up. We went with rice, carrots, and steak instead. Would you look at that? Just beautiful. Finn goes, yep, I can't wait to have more. You already got some steak, buddy. Boy, just working on uploading this video with our new mobile hub. So, well, that was a good day. We got our internet, our little mobile hub, so that's good. Got to go to the gym, and now I got the ECL 8 uploaded. Um, that shouldn't be an issue uploading videos anymore now that I've got my own little Wi-Fi system in the RV. And now I'm really looking forward to kicking back and playing some video games for the night on my new internet. Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday, July 24th. Me and Finn Dog are in Banff. He's going out for his morning pee. Good boy, who's a good Finn Dog? Today we're gonna have a nice relaxing day where I don't plan on moving a whole lot. Actually, I do have to move the RV. I gotta go into town and get a new visa and I was gonna go to the gym. And other than that, I was planning on sitting around playing video games and writing and I'm gonna get out the Wisdom Wednesday video today. So I'll be pretty exciting. And then tomorrow, Finn and I are gonna go to Lake Louise on a hike. Just got into Canmore, gonna go to the gym here. Finn Dog, you gotta wait here, buddy. Oh, big stretching dog, good boy. I know, no, you can't come in. It'd be cool if they'd let you on the treadmill, eh? You get your run in, cause it's real rainy out today. And then we gotta go to Scotia Bank and get my visa. And then uh, we're going to spending spree. Hey Finn, what do you think? Huh? Spend it all on steak and chicken or what? Hey everybody, just got back from the gym in Canmore and getting the uh, visa from the Scotia Bank. Back at our campsite now. Just taking Finn Dog for a quick little walk around the park. And then I got a show confirmed, so I gotta do up the contract for that tonight and get that sent off. And then I'm really trying to get this Wisdom Wednesday video out today. I really uh, have been pushing that thing back and back. And thank you guys all for being so patient, even though no one's probably been waiting. I mean, there's probably only like 50 people even watching this anyway. But thank you for those of you that are. Well, we did it, you guys. We got Wisdom Wednesday up. Finn Dog's pumped up about it. Hey, Finley. He goes, yep, we're doing it. Oh, man. I'm having a great day today, you guys. I, uh, I don't know. I get really stressed out about all this, like, constantly having to do this vlog and videotape yourself every day worrying about content and then doing, like, all the bookings and the writings and then, like, still working on my act and then having to drive a whole bunch and yeah, just the website and YouTube channel and all of it. And it gets overwhelming. And then I uh, watched a video today that Eloise Knees, my good Australian friend sent me. And it was like Jim Carrey just talking about success and how it's all basically just like a mindset and basically it's the way you view things and stuff like that. And now I look at what I'm doing now and just take a step back and like, I've already reached success like this is something that I dreamed of doing was getting to just all I wanted was to tour the country and do stand-up comedy and I'm doing that right now and I never would have believed that I could be doing this right now so like any of those fears of failure that I'm not working hard enough and that I gotta be constantly doing more they kind of just melt away when you realize that you're already doing everything you ever dreamed of doing, man. Like, you already did it. You're, you're, you're doing it right now. And to quit worrying so much about what's coming down the line and just enjoy what's going on right now. Hello, everybody. Thursday morning here, July 25th. We're in Banff. We're on our way to Lake Louise. And Finley has made so many friends while he's here. We got it's Sam and Chuck. Joey. Yeah. And then we got Alex. Amy. Alex and Amy. And Finley's being a great host. Finn. Hanging out down there. Hey, Finn Dog. Let's hit the road. Yeah.
Rain Dog and I have made it to the Fairmont Chateau at Lake Louise, and they're gonna let me and Finley go on a canoe together. This will be our second canoeing adventure, which hopefully goes better than the paddleboarding adventure we went on, uh, because this lake looks really, really cold. Right. We're here with Ella, the lovely Ella from what's this place called? Lake Louise Boathouse. Lake Louise Boathouse. And Ella, if money were no object, what would you do with your life? Um, what you're doing, travel. Yes. This is so us. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're really doing it. Look who we got here. We got baby boy Finn, and we're on a canoe in Lake Louise. Oh boy, Finn, oh no! Congratulations! Lake Louise in all of its glory. It was named by Sir Charles III. He actually named it Lake Louise after his wife. Now that sounds very romantic, but he named this lake after her because this lake, just like his wife, a lot of people have been in it. <laughs> hey Finn, feel free to do that doggy paddle thing I've heard so much about any time now. Whenever you want, bud. Well, we're done leaving Lake Louise. What a beautiful place. <laughs> Sam nice. and Shaolin. Shaolin. <laughs> Shaolin. <laughs> Had a great time. And now we're heading back to our campsite in Banff to, uh, nope, Finley's gotta go pee, to go make some dinner. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, July 26th. It is 6.23 in the morning. Finn Dog and I just finished showering and brushing our teeth. And there's the baby boy there. Finn, you're supposed to go above the bed, not under it. What are you doing? Boy. And this morning, Finley and I are embarking on the biggest hike we've ever gone on. We're going to climb Fairview Mountain. So it is a one of their black diamond hikes that they have here at Lake Louise. And it is a five to six hour round trip. Uh, it was explored by Swiss mountain guides in the early 20th century. Makes sense to challenge your inner mountaineer with a steep hike up a famous peak. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, I have no experience mountaineering and the only thing on the gear list I really have that they recommend bringing is bear spray. But I'm feeling pretty confident that Finn Dog and I will be able to pull this off. I got my backpack loaded up. Finn Dog's got his backpack loaded up. And we're ready to rock it, eh Finn Dog? Yeah, I lose my boy. Doesn't seem that enthused. Maybe he's a little tired. Hello. Hey baby boy, you ready? Got your backpack on, loaded up. Beautiful Lake Louise. And me and Finn are about to go climb Mount Wanahakalugi. Well, we're about three minutes in to the six hour long hike. And I'm exhausted, you guys. This is ridiculous. Come on, Finn. Just pull my weight. I did all the paddling yesterday. You can pull me up this hill.
Finn Dog and I have made it to the top of Saddleback, and now we're gonna head for Fairview, which is that mountain up over there, and it's another 900? 900, 900 feet up. 900 feet of elevation. Eight tenths of a And mile. eight tenths of a mile. <laughs> and this is the lovely school group where, yeah. do you guys want to be in the vlog? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. This is the lovely school group where are you guys, what school? What's it called? Cool. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> hey Finn, you having fun? Hi. Hi, Hi Mary. Hi. so fun. Well, Finn, this will be our first time climbing a real mountain. Look at that. Oh my God. I don't know if we're gonna make it, man. Looks pretty steep. <laughs> oh my God. We're literally on the side of a mountain right now. I've never climbed anything like this in my life. And I'm exhausted. My heart rate's been at like 160 forever. Finn Dog's doing just fine. Hey, baby boy. But look where we are, man. We're literally on top of the world. Hey. 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 Look at just sit down for it. Yeah, I, what's that? It's Finley. That's a bear. You keep him down there so he's not at the top and falls off. Look at. Yeah, Look. I can see that, Alex. Please don't get so close. It's really giving me a stomachache. It's beautiful, yeah. Wow. See, I'm like the, the seven years in Tibet guy. Oh, kind of. He made it down. So just go down slowly now. I was looking and they say people have accidents coming down a lot more than going up. Yeah, I know. Well, it's so steep. We're going to have to go really slow and... Go really slow and then just sit down if you have to. Yeah. You know, like just sit on your bum. Is the air quality thin up there? Yeah, I can barely breathe. Yeah. So that can make you lightheaded. So you better just go start going down. Yep. No, that's true. <laughs> I know. I'll be fine. Get that hypoxia. I know. I'll be fine. Okay, well, just just start. I, I want to see you start going down. Okay, I'll call you in a bit when I go down. I didn't hike all the way up here just to run back down. I know, I know, but you got to be able to four hours and not getting up this goddamn hill. And not pass out. I'll be fine. I'm going to have some lunch so I don't pass out. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll call you after. Just... Okay, hon. Okay, bye. Yeah, so you're looking tired now. <laughs> How oh, Finn, you did it. You climbed your first mountain, bud. Oh my God. It's my first mountain too. And that is Lake Louise down there. Can't say how proud I am of you, Finn Dog. I'm so proud of you. Okay, such a good boy. All those people who say, oh, he's just an old dog. Hey, not an old dog. Climbed a mountain there, a real mountain. Pin dog packed his own lunch up here in his own little backpack. Hey, good boy. <laughs> I'm so proud of my boy Finley. I'm like so happy I'm on top of a mountain with my baby boy, man. Like, it makes me want to cry. I can't believe Pin dog's up here and we're living our life, buddy. Oh, it's pretty cool, man. Life is pretty good. 
Well, we're on top of Mount Fairview, and right behind me, you can see Mount Wanahakalugi. Well, we decided to camp here at Canyon Hot Springs. It's about two hours from Scotch Creek, and they've got these beautiful mineral pools. So I'm gonna go and park the RV. We're gonna stay here for the night, and I'm gonna go take a good little soak and get rejuvenated after climbing that mountain. Finn Dog, just stay in the car. He said there's bears here. You gotta be careful, baby boy. You gotta be careful. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Boy, well I was, had a nice little soak, had dinner, and uh, now I'm slaving away here, doing more bookings and getting posters made up for the dates and uh, get my website updated and a bunch of stuff caught up. So I just got like an hour, maybe two hours of work here. Then I'm gonna play some video games try to get a good night's sleep and then off to Scotch Creek in the morning for a little mini comedy festival which should be super fun. Saturday morning I just went for a nice little dip in the mineral pools, had a nice breakfast, Pin dogs all juiced up ready to go. Today we are heading to, first we're gonna go to Anytime Fitness in Salmon Arm, have a little workout. It's about an hour and a half away and then we're gonna drive another hour after that to Scotch Creek where we're doing our little uh, mini comedy festival. It's an outdoor show. It's raining right now. Hopefully it gets a little better. <laughs> Just got into Scotch Creek, playing with Finn Dog here. Isn't he over there? Look at it, there it goes. He's not paying attention. I think this is where we're doing a little outdoor show. It's a nice little spot. We're doing it out back. It's brought to us by these guys, The Hub. Finn Dog, what do you want? The ball? Look at this beautiful beach they got here for Finn Dog to play out before our gig. Good boy. Now I gotta say, life's pretty good. Like this time last week I was in the Northwest Territories. Now check this out. I'm playing NHL online, eating my break, eating dinner with chicken and rice. Got all my stuff ready, and we're doing an outdoor show right out there. Oh, face off, gotta go. Doing it. has got a two nothing lead. They've outscored by a pair, and they've outchanced by He does it again, folks. Alexander Ovechkin! Great name. He did it again, folks! Quit! Just quit! We're the Hawks. We're at home. Can it be hot? Come on. Oh, there they are. There's a couple. We're down at the hub here in Scotch Creek and we're getting the stage set up. It looks beautiful. Can I have one one prawn, pineapple, and one James, I think you were allowed one taco. Okay. We got Mr. Ulof here taking advantage of the free food. <laughs> Pardon me? One chicken. There's Mr. King. Oh, it looks like we've been spotted. Sit very still. He cannot tell unless you're moving. He couldn't find his shoes. He's waving. 
Simon, we already all performed. You just gotta go up and close the show. <laughs> Okay, he said thank you. Say thanks, I have need for three days. <laughs> He's a starving artist. <laughs> Finn signed an autograph. You better just tackle it. You're so cute. Just sneak a bear trap in behind. Hey, Look at this a over attentive here? audience member. Look at him. Hey, Finn Dog. All right, thank you. He's a good boy. Just like that, and then I just make it into like three or four little things, and then I'll do like a little thing, and then after we do like a montage, we'll do like a comedy montage. All right, you guys ready to get the second half of the show started? You left them? <laughs> summer, I got so drunk that I passed out naked in my buddy's bathtub with the shower running. Are you watching daddy? What I mean? Brad Lincoln, what kind of a maniac puts comedian on the side of his RV? Like, what? How dumb are you? You know, everyone's going to come up to you at a gas station. I got a joke for your skit. Now you've made friends you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Simon, you want to do a show in a field? Fuck yeah, I got nothing to lose. Let's do the world. <laughs> what show business has come to? This is it. Standing in a fucking field. Look at you, you weirdos. Just finished doing the little outdoor festival in Scotch Creek. It was such a fun time. One of the funnest times I've had on stage. Great show. It was like a three hour long thing. Five comics did a little intermission. Hosted the first half and then opened up the second half before Simon came out. Uh, great crowd and I just loved them so much. It was so fun. I love this you guys so much. Hey everybody in Kamloops at the lovely Mendez residence with Marcel and Tali and my biggest little fan, Lyndon, look at him. Just working out hard. And the amazing host that Marcel is, he's made us a traditional Portuguese windstorm dish. What's this called? Beef. Beef. It's beef. It's pork. 
É a hora daquela bicha, cara. É, não. <risos> It's an onion lettuce. Finley's like, oh, right, he can't wait, hey, bud? Hey guys, that's this week's video. We're all done here. So if you guys enjoy it, Hendrix, don't what do they got? Don't subscribe. And yeah, don't subscribe. Wait, what? And subscribe and don't subscribe. Both. Yeah, do, do, do whatever you want. And especially don't hit the bell. Don't, don't. And hit the bell. Yeah, perfect. So just do all of that. And don't forget to go to my online store and pick yourself up a uh, new ECL hoodie. We got crop tops, tank tops, kids clothes. Uh, use the code word ECL to save yourself 10% off any and all products. Yeah, like <laughs> Get this guy for uh, 20 bucks. He comes, cooks your dinner, brings the whole RV right here, trailer. And Krita, what do you recommend? A drink. So you can't feel no more. <laughs>